Hi YouTube and welcome back to my uh, Let's Play Diablo 3 on the weekends. Alright, so um, I had to break up this particular uh, chapter in Act 2, uh, Blood and Sand. So we're to the second half of it now. Um, first half uh, last week where we but went no through Zavas the um, aqueducts the under the Dolgor the witch, Oasis, which then leads us ends. out to the Desolate Sands, but Shapes we had to, to we had to go up. through the aqueducts yes, um, to get to the entrance to the Desolate Sands in the first place. So now we're out here, and uh, out here in the Desolate Sands, there's um, a couple of um, cave systems, ruins, dungeons, whatever you want to call them, um, where there's two separate vials of Zolfone blood, and we have to find both of them. We have his head, and uh, apparently, because of having his head, we um, have his um, ghostly um, body uh, following us around as well, and he supposedly uh, can help us um, sniff out where his blood is. Um, I guess when uh, when when they try to get rid of him, um, you know, they 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 dismembered him in the in the fact that they you know took away his blood uh, in two completely separate containers and his head uh, buried in a separate location um, as well uh, in, in the hopes that he could never return. And here we are, on a quest to try and bring him back. So it kind of shows you, you know, and, and from from the beginning, uh, both Turo and, uh, and um, Leah and stuff, they're a little suspicious of bringing Zoltan Pool back, but Adria is like, no, we need him, we need the Black Soul Stone. It's the only way to defeat the um, remaining lords of hell, um, so we need to uh, we need to we need to get him back so that we can get the black soul stone, because we can't get the black soul stone by ourselves without him, supposedly. Um, this you know, he's the only one who knows the secret uh, way to get to where the soul stone is hidden at the moment. So, anywho, so that's the, kind of the backstory of what we're doing and why we're doing it. I have no time for your excuses. Taldeer is on the brink of rebellion, and the enemy is closing in on the archives of Zoltan Kuhl. Slaughter her, and bring me the mad wizard's head and the black soul stone, or I shall inflict incomprehensible agony upon the lot of you! Alright, so those were the orders from Belial. Um to his demon ward, uh, basically to come after us and prevent us from Some of my collecting Zoltan uh, Kuhl's blood. Um, and here's the first location of his blood, Cave of the Betrayer, Our level one. Lays heavily here. I believe with this soul stone, I will finally be able to unlock the true power of man. In ancient times, our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the Soul Stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength of my ancestors. Alright, so that was an entry from uh, Zoltan Kuhl's own journal um, back when he was um, developing the Black Soul Stone in the first place. And. Um, the soul stone basically is meant to capture the souls of um, both angels and demons. Um, primarily the demons, but basically to be able to, to rid, um, rid humanity of the angels and the demons forever and just, you know, um, allow us to be left in peace, which is, you know, get, getting, rid of, getting rid of all of them. And the reason that we want the Soul Stone um, is to um, defeat the last two Lords of Hell because um, Diablo theoretically was destroyed and um, two of his other, because I think there's a total of five of them, I don't remember the names of the other ones, but um, we have Diablo and they had two of, his bro two of his brothers that were also destroyed in uh, between Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. And then um, the only ones that left are Belial and Asmodan. Those are the ones that we're kind of coming across now. Uh, right now, uh, Belial is in Salim, and so he's trying you know, to you know, figure out where he is and, and things that we need the Black Soul Stone in order to defeat him, um, theoretically. 
Um, so that's the so that's the current current plan is to do that. And then once we've defeated the wild, um, then we need to go and uh, go after Asmodan and you know basically do the same thing. Um, and then go from there. So um, that's uh, that's kind of that's kind of what we're that's kind of what we're about at the moment. Obviously, the the story started with the fallen star, and which turned out to be Tyrael, you know, from 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 the heaven, high heavens. You know, he former angel now turned mortal to help us and things. And then, you know, because of because of him coming to Earth, he came to warn us of the coming um, evil uh, with uh, Belial and Asmodan um, trying to defeat. Um, uh, or not to keep, but uh, control uh, humanity um, and things. Now you've got to love um, the uh, the Angelus Council's uh, solution to um, the Lords of Hell taking over and, and uh, controlling humans. Uh, just kill all the humans. <laughs> If the Lords of Hell don't have the temptation to, yeah, of humans to control, <laughs> it's like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Which is why, you know, there's it, it, there's some questionable stuff, like, if the Lords of Hell want to control us, the angels want to kill us. It's like, um, and who's on the, who, who are the guys? <laughs> so, anywho. Um... And I guess, you know, for, for those of you who might be, like, the first time ever watching one of my videos and stuff, and maybe you're not familiar with the Apple yeah, 3 story, but, yeah, the, the, the rest of the backstory is that humans are actually um, the descendants of uh, the coupling of some demons with some angels, and they uh, produced the first humans, although the first humans had a lot of the same power as angels and demons, and they were called Nephilim. Um, and they weren't quite angels, they weren't quite demons, they were, you know, they were human. But then, I forget exactly what it was, it was something that was suppressing um, humans from becoming Nephilim in the first place. Um, so there was, there was that. Um, uh, so there's there's something something to do with one of the reasons why the humans aren't as powerful as they used to be and they're so much e more easily controlled and stuff, so. But, uh, in either case, humans are the descendants of angels and demons, and, uh, our lead character here, um, appear appears to be, um, an actual Nephilim human, uh, with all of the same, you know, powers of humans and demons. Which is one of the reasons why, you know, um, my character is quite so difficult to kill. <laughs> well, at least especially at this level, because uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm playing this at normal difficulty, so this is the easiest uh, difficulty. Um, but it makes it for uh, a better uh, walkthrough, so you can kind of see the game, see the mechanics of the game, without having you know, to edit out tons and tons of me dying all the time, which gets old pretty fast. <laughs> I will probably go and play through um, the higher difficulties at some point in the future myself, but it just, I don't feel, makes for a very good video um, in terms of trying to do a walkthrough type of video, which is basically what I'm trying to do. Alright. Um, one of my new spells is really glowing. You see the big yellow glowing, um, sparking yellow circle, or gold circle that I, that I put out. And it packs a wallop. Um, I'm definitely liking that particular spell. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm thinking that one's gonna stick around for a while. I like that one. Alrighty. So blessing there. So we're still. We're at the on the second level of this um, cave now. So we should be. Getting close to Wilton's blood by the first one, and um, you're 
somewhere. You can see one of the reasons why I split this into two episodes, um, and it kind of made logical sense to split it like at the end of the um, aqueduct second part of the chapter, and um, you know, do the uh, the desert, the desolate sand part as the second part, just because. Um, as I said last week, it was, it's a long slog <laughs> to finish this particular chapter. Okay. So we got the first vial of blood. And uh, we can get in before we can get out of here. Black Soul Stone will be my greatest work. My legacy. And my gift to humanity. There will be wars to come between man and the creatures of heaven and hell. The power housed within my stone is the very thing needed to set mankind free from demons and angels forever. Alright, so a little bit more um, from this entry's journal. And now we've got to find the entrance to the second location uh, for the second vial of blood. Um, and then once we do that, then, then we will be done with this chapter. And we will go on to the next one next week. Um, this particular act um, ends with us facing um, Belial directly, I, I recall. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll get a chance to... Uh, take him out, which would be good. I mean, you know, all things equal to human, but it still are worse than angels. <laughs> angels just want to give us a quick death, whereas the demons are like long, slow, painful, life of slavery, and, and um, much, uh, much lamentations of the women. <laughs> and, uh, gold star for anyone who's, A, still listening to this video, and, or still watching the video, and B, uh, who can get that particular reference. Um, if you get the reference, leave a comment below. I'd like to see, <laughs> uh, I'd like to see, uh, how many people got the reference there. Um, and, and I'm specifically speaking of the, the lamentations of the women. So, if you get that reference, let me know. <laughs> Alright, so we got a, um, a transportation point there. Not that I really don't really use this very often, to be perfectly honest, but they can be useful. Oh yeah, and here, I'm just kind of um, uncovering this section here. This is going to be where we have to go next um, in our quests and everything. We found Kool's archives. They were strangely empty at first, but Kool laid traps everywhere, each step harder than the next. It was foolish to expect otherwise. Kool has prepared for many years for someone to come for him. Perhaps we are fools. And yet, we must push on. Alright, those hunters were the ones hunting uh, for Zultan Kool to uh, get rid of him back in the day. In the first place. Many of the Zephyrian have endeavored to make Chaldeum a city of mercy and salvation. But we have not yet been able to convince the emperors to change the ancient policy of exile. Prisoners convicted of treason are still sent to the desolate towns to die with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Alright, and that was a bit of a description of um, the desolate sand. And, um, you know, despite trying to become a more civilized people in Caldeum, um, the fact that they still send people out to the desolate sands as a as a punishment. Um, which uh, which the, the the person writing about that was like, yeah, it's not very civilized. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, continue looking for that next entrance to the whatever. Last one is caves. The next thing could be caves, or up oh, yeah. here it is. 
This is me going into some ruins. Some of it to be this kind of magical swirling sand that takes you through the magical portal to these magical ruins. Theoretical. <laughs> there we go. So, Vault of the Assassin. These halls belong to and so we've got to go through these uh, ancient buried ruins to uh, find his, uh, find his blood. And um, for these particular episodes, um, I am trying to find a sufficient way to get to um, the gold. When I play this for myself, I try and unplug everybody in the company just in case there's more treasure. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's. Once you see one form of a dungeon or a uh, ruins or whatever, you've, you've seen them all here, so. It doesn't necessarily need to. Uh, I mean, these, these videos that can be pretty long. I've never ever did something like that. But, um, I did not like going through every single Mega Granny. Um, however, because of the randomness of how things get placed in these um, uh, dungeons and things, that they. Um, often have it so that it shows up like somewhere near the end of um, you know, like you've basically gone everywhere else and then the, the one place you haven't looked at that's where it's, that's where it is. And, and somehow I don't think that's a coincidence. I'm pretty sure it's not. Alright, so lots of demons, lots of skeleton soldiers, lots of creepy things. And of course, these are all trying to, um, I think these are all two troops from the wild, um, trying to stop us from, um, resurrecting Golden Pool, because Belial, and rightfully so, is, uh, you know, fears the Black Soul Stone. And I think he has every reason to, because the, the entire point of it is to, um, basically capture him. And, um, because you can't. I guess these guys, because they're immortal, you can't, like, kill-kill them. Um, the only thing you can do is trap their souls, so to speak. Um, and uh, once their their souls are trapped, then, you know, they're, you can just kind of hide away the, the, the soul stone and, um, forever, and, and, you know, they can't, they can't do anything <laughs> once they're in there. They're just kind of trapped. And I can imagine that would be a pretty, uh, especially if, if they were more conscien conscious, like you're, you know, you have a, a floating consciousness that's just kind of in a black limbo of nothing. I don't know about you, but that would drive me insane very, very quickly. Because it's just you and your thoughts, and that's it, and nothing else. Can't see anything, can't hear anything, can't taste anything. It's nothing, just really nothing like it. If something like that were actually possible, if, yeah, I don't think that would, that would, that would be a cool unusual punishment, in my opinion. Now, of course, these guys are demons who are trying to enslave humanity and things, so, you know, I don't feel so bad about that. But, you know, if that ever was something that could be done in real life to actual humans, mm, that's not something I, uh, I think that would be, a, that would be going a little too far. Alright, so no blood there. Keep going. Basically looking for a blinking yellow circle on the map. Um, once we get close to see it. And that uh, really tell us where that, where the, where the blood looks like. It's, just, it's somewhere in here, and that's all I know. Um, nope, nothing there. Keep going. There's a whole other section of Love my shield boomerang thing. <laughs> Just toss it once and take out several uh, enemies at the same time. <laughs> and cool. That and that spell right there. I don't know what I'm doing. They're cool. Uh, definitely, I think Crusader 
Oh, he's now my 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 second favorite after the demon hunter. I still love the demon hunter. Demon hunter's favorite, um, and that's my my highest level Diablo three character is my demon hunter right now. And then uh, I have played um, a little bit of each of the other um, the barbarian. I played the um, I think it's the warlock. Um, oh, there's the other good. Alright, so we're about to, uh, about to tie this up. We've got one last big, big, big baddie that we have to take care of because he's the one guarding the blood and everything. But, uh, we're about to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you're still watching, thank you. If you liked it, please, uh, like it. <laughs> please give it a thumbs up. Please um, share it, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I am really appreciate it. Um, but in the meantime, um, until next week, um, please take care. And uh, I guess we don't have any more humans here, but still. Uh, we'll have to wrap things up. Alright, take care. Bye bye.